What's up, K-Mob, Mother FM, Bay Mob? I try. What up, what up? It's your boy Keys, Keys the GOAT, Keys the President, Big Keys with a big wall and big mouth. Ain't nobody what? Pop me in the yeah, yeah. You'll get it. What's up, you guys? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today because I know I am. First off, calm down. Woosa, nigga. Woosa. Three uploads in three days. Who am I feeling like the king? That's who I'm feeling like. No, honestly, I feel like I've just slacked this month. Look, really? If we really go back to the analytics, like we really go back to the numbers and the files, I really haven't. Like, this is my, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six post of the month. And we still got what? One more after this? So, yeah. Um. Also, before we even get started with this video, if you guys want to help me get my TikTok page back, please, please. Please, 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 please follow the directions on this screenshot right here and then read my comment. It's the very first comment when you scroll down. It's pinned and it'll tell you how to do it correctly, girl. I promise you, literally just follow the screenshot. It's not that hard. Just follow this right here, please. It's, I need y'all to spam this. They're finally starting to listen. I don't know what y'all did that first time I brought it up, but you had them email me. Wait, hold up. Two, three, four times. And I emailed all of them back and only one of them emailed me back. Like TikTok, you be playing. You don't really want me to get my account back for real. This video has been requested by y'all. Saw me times on this page and mind you I thought I already told it on YouTube but I guess I didn't but mind you I've told this on my old TikTok before but since that's gone I really have no <laughs> I have no evidence so I'm gonna retell it. It starts all the way in the summer of 2016 I know it's that summer because that was the same summer that I was no is it 2017? Yeah, no, it would be because it's okay. Yeah, okay, wait, there we go. Cause it was definitely the summer of 2017 because the school year by January passes during the school year. So yeah, in the summer of 2017, I was forced to come out into my homophobic parents. I'm not saying they not homophobic now. Like now they're real loving and accepting. They ain't got no choice but to be. But they it didn't used to always be like that. They are young. They're young. They're. I'm trying to make excuses. Them niggas was just, they just wasn't fucking with me. They wasn't. They didn't like that I was fruity. You know, I'm trying to make excuses for them. I don't got none. They just weren't as accepting as I would have wanted at the time. And honestly, I didn't even give them a chance to be because I was so uncomfortable around them, especially my mom. And this is when me and my mama never really had like the best relationship since middle school. But this was really when she just started to go left. So it actually doesn't even start with my mom. It actually starts way, way, way like beyond that. And I was actually editing. If y'all don't know, if you really know me, if you're really a mobster, you know I used to be an editor. Let's not talk about it. It wasn't fun. It wasn't cute. But that was what I used to do. I've always loved just editing. I've always loved like graphics and stuff. Like that's always been my thing. So when you're editing, you're in like, I don't know if anybody even knows this because if you're not in this community, it probably wouldn't make sense. But y'all know how you have like online friends? It's kind of like the same preference I've always had online friends like this is nothing new I've been editing since I was in middle school so around this time I had met this one online friend his name was Noah right Noah was <sighs> Noah <laughs> was an interesting character not because of he was just real feminine and it was so it was so different it was just like it wasn't regular feminine like he was twink feminine and if you know anything a lot of madonna a lot of pop a lot of ariana grande a lot of tight ponytails no hair just ponytails at the top and it never made too much sense with me i don't know it was just different for me like to just kind of accept my gayness like i already did with around friends but i never did it around boys i felt like and you know, this is real. This is before I was really messing with the Trey girl, no shade. So I'm like, oh my God, what am I about to do? And the fact that he was feminine and I still thought he was attractive was kind of crazy to me. I remember we'd be on the phone all the time. First it started off, it was editing buddies. And then that turned into us talking about just how we liked each other. Or not even like this, we would just flirt with each other. Then that turned into how we liked each other. And then we would be, you know, just honey dripping on the phone talking about some, when I get famous, I'm gonna use this, this editing shit to blow up and I'm gonna be an influencer and I'm gonna take trips to California all the time I'm gonna come see you. So you know when you're a kid and you're not dating someone but y'all are kind of like each other's people that's kind of how we were and we never told anybody that we were dating or talking we just kind of kept it between us I didn't really care enough about him to like brag about it like he wasn't that bad he was just someone I was attracted to not to be an asshole that's just the truth so one night we were snapchatting each other and we would do this thing where like you know when you snapchat somebody and you screenshot their picture and let them know like they send you just a picture of them doing something but you could tell they trying to look cute so you screenshot it to let them know like non-verbally that you thought they was cute and whatnot that's we used to do that all the time but I always deleted my snapchats after like Every screenshot I took, always deleted it. If it was from him, because I never wanted my parents to go through my phone and just be like, gag. And mind you, I don't, and everyone, I know someone's gonna comment, if you in high school, my parents was never checking my phone. I don't give a, I didn't have them parents, clearly. I didn't have them parents, okay? I didn't get to just do what the fuck I wanted, clearly. So I'm just letting y'all know. You ain't gotta say that. I get it, y'all parents let y'all do this and smoke dope and smoke kush and roll doobies and shit. I don't have them parents. Them street lights was on, I was in that bedroom. I had them type of parents. So one night I was thinking to myself, they dad haven't been on my phone in so long. Like, does it even matter if I keep it up? And I just wanted to keep it, let's keep it 
needed my camera just to see. Like, I liked him. I was like, I don't want to delete every picture. Sometimes I want to go through my camera and see my man. You feel me? That's what I did. I didn't delete the picture this time. And that was a mistake. Honestly, I don't, it was, at the time I thought it was a mistake, but I'm happy it happened now. You'll see why, as you'll see why later. Anyways, so fast forward a few weeks, maybe just a year. I don't know, maybe a few months. I don't even know. At least a month or two. At least. No, no, at least, mm. no, it couldn't have been a few months because him and I would never have even lasted that long. It was definitely a few weeks. I remember my godparents asked me to go on their little camping trip with them and I and it, it was optional, but I thought to myself, it might actually be fun. Like they keep hyping it up. I, I can just try once. I wasn't as much of a stickler to, you know, not want to do shit back in the day. Like I actually was like, okay, I'll try. I'll give it a try. The only thing I did not like about it was I wasn't going to have any service. So for the little three, four days we was going to be there, no service. It was just going to be me, the will wilderness and a tent. <laughs> That's not fun. So I was a little nervous. And mind you, I remember I was an editor too. So at the time I was like, I got to post my edits every day or at least as much as I can, because if I'm not, I'm going to fall off. Like I was trying to stay with the trans girl. This editing shit get hard. Okay. And I can do an everyday type of thing. Cause it wasn't these videos. It wasn't a 20, 30, 40 an hour and 10 minute video. No, it was a like four, five, six, eight, ten second edit. It was never, it was never too difficult for me. So girl, why well, I ended up going on the trip and it was fun. It actually wasn't even that bad, but for them few days, like I said, I didn't have any, uh, cellular service and it was it was nice to be one with nature for all of like 12 hours and I was ready to get the fuck back home I hated it like I'm not even gonna sit here in front I'm not I'm not a, a, a camping type of person glamping you throw me a big ass house with some wi-fi oh I'm in there and what would kill me was it was okay so it wasn't my family it was my godparents family and there was like this one long big tent I guess that was the the shitter <laughs> okay you step in there and you bring a disposable bag and you you know, dump in it, zip it up, or you could pee in it too, or both, whatever you had to do. Don't have diarrhea that day. After you're done, you zip the bag up, and then to dispose of it, you just throw it in the lake. You throw it in the lake in the stream or take it all the way down. Mind you, the same, the same stream that niggas was playing in. I was like, mm -mm, I won't be in there no more because this is what y'all are doing. Like, I remember I was just in there and I wasn't even in there really playing in there because I was too big, but I had my feet in there and this current was kind of strong. Like, we was deep in the wilderness. And I remember just standing up and I look at something past me. And I'm like, someone just took a shit. Fast forward the little four days, it was over. We're on our way back home. And as soon as I got service, girl, I was on that phone like fish to, but honestly not even for that long because the phone was about to die. I only had like 10% left and it wasn't no point to bring a charger because there was no outlets. <laughs> Nigga, we're in the woods. I finally got back home and later that night, I remember it was my uncle who picked me up from my godparents house. I remember my last me at the time was a picture of me and my cousins from the, let me show y'all. Cause I got the picture. It's literally still in my iCloud. I never deleted it because I was like, I need to always remember why I don't let motherfuckers go through my phone. This is, I promise you, you will never get in my phone without a quick like, you know, I always, it's never a gesture that I'm not making. I can't let nobody go through my phone. I don't care who you are. Y'all look at this. It's my very first photo in my album. Wait, July 16th, 2017. But anyways, by the time my uncle dropped me off, my parents wasn't there. They went to the casino because they're the type of black parents to go there and get some food and shit. I don't know what it is. That The Chinese food up there don't even be that good. It do. It do. It be good as fuck. It do. So I don't even be hating. They came back with the food. I remember my mom said hi. I was just on my phone. And I remember while I was on my phone, I was talking to her. And then you know when you're like, you just click the off screen. You can see. And this is before I Apple added that update where it would be dark. So it was just light. Just bright as fuck. And you could see my home screen. She was, or my lock screen. She was like. And so she was asking who was one of the boys in the background. I was like, oh, that's my da 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 da's cousin that my godbrother's cousin obviously i said the name to her but i'm not gonna say it on youtube so i don't know what prompted her it was random as fuck but she literally just goes let me go through your phone and my heart just drops like no and mind you another thing is my parents had this thing where they love to embarrass me like so when i would be like clearly i was watching corn right they would always make fun of me for touching myself i'd be like girl can y'all shut they'd be like oh were you in there doing this was you in there doing that oh i smell lotion i know what you was doing it used to make me so uncomfortable because like can you get out my box like all up in the cuckoo for what stay over there and you play with yours y'all do what y'all want with each other's parts you don't gotta come ask me about mine like i'm gonna handle it over here after she asked me that absurd ass question i'm like never ask me she told me let me see your phone let me go through your phone I I was just like, I, I, my reaction is clearly what like prompted her to really want to go through it. But I was like, no. And she was like, why? Let me go through that phone. And I'm like, no. Cause and I'm like, what are you? And so then I start crying. Cause she's like really being for real now. Why are you in here coming here acting crazy? This is exactly why we can't be friends. This is exactly why I can't mess with you. Because you come in here and you mess with me. When I'm and she was like, man, Barky, shut that shit up. Let me see that phone. I'm like, fine. <laughs> Mind you, I still got the same password I had then, so I try to do this. 
Why do I try to get in my phone? You know when you try to hit her with the... And then the girl, she caught me dumb quick, girl. She grabbed that phone, turned it right off. I didn't care. Sorry, you won't be getting in shit, man. Mind you, I was still irritated because why are you trying to get in my phone? You don't even pay this bill. Mind you, I was, at the time, I was on my grandpa's plan. You don't even pay this bill. You don't even pay this bill. You at T-Mobile, fuck you want to worry about AT&T for, huh? Girl, I was so irritated. I'm like, bro, why do you come in here and mess with me? And then she sit there and wonder why I don't ever want to talk to her. Like, this is not nothing new. I, I, like I said, we've never really had a be the best relationship, but we really weren't going to have to after this because... Let me tell you what she does. So she gives me ultimatum. She tells me, let me in that goddamn phone or you're on punishment all summer. Mind you, summer just started two weeks ago. You want punishment all summer. You're not getting no phone. You're not coming out this room. You're not talking to nobody. Like they used to throw that in my face because they knew how much I hated that, especially her. Like she, I mean, my stepdad did it just as much, but he would just do it. He didn't even threaten, threaten me with it. He would just do it. So I'm like, oh my God, like I literally hate her. Like I remember just thinking that like, I really do not like this woman. Like I don't hate my mom now, but I, at the time, like girl, you, I don't know. I could have almost. Because why do you keep messing with me, Monique? Monique. All right, so I don't, at this point, I don't care about her going through my safari and seeing the corn. At this point, I, cause I watched straight corn. I don't care. I, the girl gets paid no attention. I'm looking at that man. I'm looking at that pipe. Okay. I was like, maybe she'll see it and think I'm straight. Cause it's already, you know, straight XXX videos, but She's gonna go through my camera roll and she's gonna see a twink and she's gonna be like, what the fuck is this, nigga? And I'm not gonna know what to say. My pa mind you, let me tell you, let's reverse. Let's give you a little bit of a backstory to the backstory. My parents are very insensitive. My parent, my mom's sensitive as fuck, but she can be insensitive a lot. And my stepdad is not like, he plays too much and he definitely is one of them dark jokes type of people and he definitely takes it there. Now at the time when I was a kid, they also were just real tough on me for being too soft. They, I hate, and I thought that it was because they saw that I was feminine and I was gay and they didn't like that. So, and which prop, I'm not gonna lie, like let my parents down and I'm trying to, you know, do as much recon as I can, but they was definitely a little homophobic. It's just no shade. One time I was drunk, I remember my uncle's brother needed to ride from the airport and he was like, he just said something crazy. I'm, I'm not even gonna repeat it. Like, I'm not even gonna repeat it, but his mouth, but he didn't even mean it. Like now I know in that moment, he was just talking a lot of shit. That's cause that's what he does, okay? He's born December 15th. I think that makes him a Sagittarius or a Gemini or something. Whatever he is, he's crazy as fuck and that mouth is even crazier. And then my mom, I always knew that she didn't support it just because when I was like growing up every time I would do anything that was too feminine like one time she had said something for me and I was just gagged and I remember I was like oh, you did that for me and she was like get your fucking hand off your chest and I was just like when I was younger like super super young four or five this was before my sister was born so I know I wasn't six lived in this house I remember my parents were asking me on TV like who I thought was cute in the scene and you know how the cameras always cut the different people so every time a new girl would pass my stepdad would be like you think she's cute you think she's cute you think she's cute and I just keep saying no so at one point all the girls on the screen was done and he was like well well, that's all the girls who you think is cute and then the boy finally popped up and I was like him and I remember it was just quiet and I turned around and my parents looked at me dead in my eyes and told me that was not okay and I just remember from that moment just knowing it wasn't it was never okay to you know be like that great grandma got me this like toy story toy it was Jesse my grandma was like you're not allowed to bring it home because I don't want your parents being mad at you for playing with girl toys because I used to be able to do what I want shout out to the grandparents to Alvin and Barbara always kept me fish. That's why I'm the fish I am today. They taught me how to braid hair, let me play with Barbie toys. When my granddad would get me like toys from McDonald's, he always asked for the girl toys because he know who they were coming to, like love them down, kisses on both cheeks. But anyway, so I could have easily just been like, girl, just take the phone, I don't care. But I was scared that they're gonna really hate me. Like I've hated how they treated me when they just had an idea I was gay. What are they gonna do when they find out I'm really gay? Like I was scared. You guys think this is seven years ago. So in that time, it wasn't fun to be gay. You got the worst looks, you heard the worst, things like I was the things that I heard on a daily basis are the things that would happen to me on a daily basis at home and at school or with family and with random strangers only happened to me and they thought that I was gay imagine if they knew I told my mom okay well can I just text you what's in the phone and she was like okay yeah so I looked at my phone and I text my mom while she's sitting like three feet ahead of me I didn't have a big room so she's literally just in my face basically and I'm like I like boys and girls I wanted to tell you but I was too scared to I was gonna tell you in a few days and that's what's in my phone. Now also make sure to add in there that I liked girls mostly. Like just so I can really calm her down. And I remember I sent the text, I heard her phone ding and it, everything like slowed down. Like at this moment, literally my whole life just changed. Cause I'm like, she's about to find out my biggest like secret. It should never, ever, 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 ever be this hard to tell your parents you just like boys. Like I promise you, it should not be that serious. But unfortunately at the time for me, it was, I was like, they're gonna kick me out or they're just gonna be hella rude to me. I'm gonna have to do a bunch of yard work. They're about to just be, you know, hitting me I don't I just I was scared I did not know what to expect but I just thought it was gonna be really bad and honestly it kind of was it was just not as bad as I 
It didn't go, how do I explain it? It was bad, but it wasn't the bad that I thought it was going to be. It was more emotional, like mental bad instead of more physical bad. It was still some physical shit in there. Don't get me wrong, but you know, it's whatever. We, we're past it now. My mom just looks at her phone for a few seconds and then she looks up at me and then she looks back at her phone and then she looks up at me and she just goes, like as soon as that chest went in and them shoulders went up, I knew that bitch gagged. I, I ain't gagged somebody like that in so long gagging. And she just looks at me and she goes, <sighs> that wasn't the reaction I was looking for. So she just starts sobbing. And so obviously I'm already crying because I already told you earlier, I've been started crying. Kind of like, why is she crazy as fuck? So I'm, as she's just crying, I'm just sitting there and I'm like, do you hate me? And she was like, no. I'm like, yes, you do, bitch. You do hate me. Don't lie, nigga. Y'all, I don't, oh my God, y'all. I was embarrassed. I was scared. I was just like, I did not know what to say. And mind you, my stepdad is downstairs. So he knows, I know that he's going to have to find out too. Like when she first came in and started messing with me, he was upstairs. I have a split level home. So he was upstairs eating that Chinese food. And then he heard us get into arguing. He went downstairs because he was like, I'm not even going to deal with it. And <laughs> she'll, I'll figure it out later. So she, she started crying. I'm like, okay, well this, this, I'm not worried about her. I'm worried about me. How am I going to, what's the lie I'm about to tell her to tell him because i know her nosy ass gonna go downstairs and say something she got to because she'll know to not run that mouth so she goes i'm not surprised i'm just shocked i'm like bitch what so pause that we're actually gonna go back a year right so this is during my freshman year not even a full year like this was actually just a, maybe like a few months prior we we're in the actual school years my mom will always ask me why i was like dating girls and i was like i don't i don't know like i don't know what to tell her i can't tell them i'm gay so i lied and i told my mom i did not like black girls and i was like if i can tell her that and i can just disgust her and i can just leave it alone maybe just maybe she'll leave me the fuck alone until i'm ready to come out to her i used to just tear black women apart i'm so sorry my sisters i love y'all i really do but i had to act because i was thinking to me you bitches wasn't helping me either y'all was homophobic too back in the day not all y'all <laughs> but I know who you are. You know who you are. I was definitely trying to make my mom mad and it worked. Because girl, why can't I just tell you I like boys? Like you supposed to be my mom and the love should be unconditional. This is what I'm thinking at the time. So I'm pausing the story. If you need a refresh on where we're at, my mom basically just found out I was gay and she was telling me that she's not surprised. She's shocked and she's crying. Now I'm sitting here thinking how I'm gonna make up another lie to tell my well for her to tell my stepdad, because I know she's not gonna tell him this. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna tell her ass not to tell him. Why does my mom say to me, I thought you didn't like black girls? Whole time you don't like girls at all. I'm like, bitch, what are you talking about? We're just not what we're thinking about right now. I'm like, so I'm just, I'm like, bro, like this is what you're thinking about. Like this, and that irritated me because your son just came out and you're sitting here crying like you're the, like y'all, she was sobbing, acting as if she was the victim, as if she was the one in this like detrimental ass secret that she finally just let off her chest. So I'm just irritated. I'm like, there she go trying to make this about her, like girl. And then she says to me, I'm sad that I was never there to help you. I was never there to be there for you. And while you were dealing with all this, all these bullies and all this and all that, you had to be by yourself and I'm supposed to be your mother. Yeah, yeah, you finally started to get it, huh? But I still didn't feel like she was sincere about it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, you knew I was getting bullied regardless. Like, I, like I've told y'all in other story times, if you just use the context clues from other stories and shit, even the ones I've told you on live, I got calls home all the time for kids doing stuff to me. So that's so bad to the point that the calls home weren't even involving me because when they would send me to the office and ask me how I was doing or ask me why I was letting kids do certain stuff to me, this is before I got to fighting. For me, it would just sound like a whole bunch of bullshit. Like, girl, you knew I was gay. You knew I was dealing with this stuff. Now, she doesn't know. Like, I'm not gonna lie. My mom didn't know about me getting, like, pushed down them stairs and, you know, locked in, like, the dark in the basement and shit. And so, no, at the time, no, she didn't know about none of that, but she knew about them phone calls home. So... Then she asked me one more question. She goes, well, have you ever done it with a girl before? And I wasn't gonna tell my mom I wasn't no virgin. Like, uh. Hold on. This video is sponsored by SA Tigers. I love SA Tigers so much, y'all. I will not stop vamping for them because I know it is about to be that time where these, uh, this, them assignments is getting harder. The year's about to end in just about four months. And as someone who's been in college, I know this is the worst time to be stressed. Y'all got the most going on. And them essays, you don't need that pressure right now, but SA Tigers got it. SA Tigers.com is an online college resource for students like y'all where they type the essay for y'all. All you gotta do is put in the information like when it's due, how long it needs to be, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And a real college professor will write the essay for you and get it back to you by your due date. And you don't have to worry about plagiarism because they will actually write it. That's the thing. Like these college, they know what they're doing. If you use my code KeysYT, you will get 15% off your next order. Thank you so much as a tiger. I love y'all so much. The monsters love y'all even more. I appreciate y'all. Okay, back to the video. So I told her no and she goes, well, you can't knock it till you try it. How you gonna know? 
All right, Monique, get up out of my room. <laughs> so I told her not to tell my stepdad, and she said, okay. She leaves, shuts the door, and I just hear her heavy foot ass run down the stairs. I'm like, my mom goes downstairs, I turn my lights off, I go to bed, and I remember I woke up dumb early that morning, and I was just under my covers thinking the next morning, like, what am I about to do? Like, what am I about to say to my parents? What am I about to say to, like, Terry? Like, I was so petrified to see my stepdad, y'all, because, girl. But yeah, so then, what happens after that? I remember I kind of just avoided my stepdad all day. I hid from him. So if he was downstairs, I was upstairs. If he was upstairs, I was in my room, or I was downstairs. I tried to really stay away from them. And then one point, he was gone throughout the day. My mom called me in the living room, and she wanted to talk with me about it and I still obviously wasn't comfortable with her because honestly I wasn't ready to come out and I this is what I was gonna tell you guys earlier I find it to be a blessing because now I realize I probably I don't know when I would have came out I mean I might have came out now because the way the world is now I feel like it's just like girl you can't hide it when you're that you're that old but at the time I planned to just never tell my parents like I just planned to get married one day and be like gag <laughs> postcard but yeah I was mad at her because I'm like girl I had to just like you made me force you to tell you something about me that I didn't want to tell you and she just was not getting that she was acting like she just could not comprehend that I wanted to come out when I wanted to come out when I was ready and you forced me to do that because you're crazy as fuck like that's the thing I didn't even get to tell my stepdad like you went in downstairs and you told him anyway so I was mad at that and I told her I didn't want to talk to her about it and she was like why because you're out or is it because you feel like no one's gonna support you I support you I, I really do and mind you so I was I tested it I tested it right then and there so as we're talking I had did one of my mannerisms I was just like I've always been like a animated person it's always been like my thing so I was like and she the the oh my god the disgust on her face like she literally was just like and right then and there i took my hand down i put it down my hands in the mood for the rest of the conversation oh and then i told her this is exactly why i don't like hang out with you because you always take it to that next step you asked to go through my phone my this all started because you saw a picture of me let me show y'all the selfie bro i'm not gonna um show their faces i'm gonna keep it like this but i'm right here and that's them too and behind us is just woods. So I'm like, why would you go downstairs and tell dad? And she goes, well, why would you want him to know that's your father? He raised you, did it? I, was, I wanted to be like, but bitch, are you not listening? After that conversation, I packed my bags, I called my grandpa, and I hung out with my at my grandpa's house almost every single day. And that's the exact same summer that I watched my uncle get stabbed by his girlfriend. You know, I might retell that story too. But so that's basically in that story. But I was gonna tell you guys earlier was actually just recently my mom called me just randomly. We was beef. This is right actually kind of like after I came back from um Seattle. This actually came back from Seattle. Y'all know when I came back from Seattle, we was beefing, girl, of course. Mom called me and she told me that she was in therapy and she just called me and she apologized and she was like, I understand why you, I'm not even gonna say what she said because it's personal and I would like to keep that between us, but it was the most sincere apology I've ever heard my mom ever give to anyone, like especially me. Oh my God, my camera died. So I don't even know where I left off at, but yeah, that's that. My mom apologized and our relationship is much better now. I mean, it's the best it is, but it's probably because we're, you know, hundreds of miles apart. But also, it's because of that apology. I would give her that. My mom, we all, you know what? Let's just give a round of applause in the comments and let's congratulate. Let's not, let's not hold the past against them because what can we do at this point? You know what I mean? Like, what literally can we do? Being mad about it's not going to do anything. We can congratulate her because she is breaking the cycle in the black community of black people not going to therapy. What the fuck is up with you niggas in therapy? I don't know what secret beef y'all got with therapy, but you need it. All of us. All, the black community as a whole just needs one giant big therapy session we would be a lot better off real shit i might have been making that up but i'm trying to be funny it's so crazy you never see story time like this anymore because like i said it is starting to be just so much more welcome and i love that sometimes i hate how soft the internet gets because it's just like why are y'all beefing about everything not everything be that serious but sometimes shit like this be serious young boys are just starting to just be gay and just and people are just accepting it. even and i'm not saying that it's nearly what it needs to be and it's still a lot of homophobia out there trust me i know it trust me so if you're out there in your dl i love you and you can you gonna find the time to come out don't ever feel like you're too rushed don't ever feel like you gotta just do it just do it and honestly i'm gonna be real about it because everyone's gonna tell you on the internet i'm gonna be a realist right now if you have parents where you know or you're in a family where you know they're not gonna support you and they're gonna do you even worse than what happened to me and let's say they cut you off for money so they're not paying for school or they're not doing this they're not doing that if you know that's gonna happen or that's a high chance of happening and you kind of are dependent on your parents and you don't have anyone else to help you i would not say anything until 
you were on your own. In my opinion, that's the best option, but do when you ever feel right. You know, if sometimes you gotta just tell it, stick it to a bitch. Yeah, and I like boys, bitch. If y'all enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know what other story times y'all would like me to tell. Or and it doesn't even have to be about me just being gay. Like if you have a scenario where you think that I would go through that or something that you were just interested to see that's happened to me, let me know in the comments. Cause I really wanna know what kind of stuff that I can give y'all because girl. And oh, I think I got another story time for y'all. That'll probably be the very last post of the month. One more story time. Also, click the second link in the description. It'll send you to the TikTok appeal ticket. Fill out this information and make sure that you're using my email when it says email. Make sure you put CrawfordKeys at gmail.com and you can put whatever you want on the little uh, additional info. Give Keys his shit back. Like, go in on him, for real. But please, 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 like, just spam that shit, y'all. I really want my account back. Like, please. And also, if you're gonna be part of our next sip and spill, I need you guys to send your voice memos to inyourbusiness1 at gmail.com. And I think I'll probably make that my first or second video into March. We'll see. So if you guys like to be part of it, send me a voice memo. Tell me some tea. Ask me some tea or ask me some advice. Whatever you guys want, but make sure it's good and don't be in there playing. You know what I mean? Come in there and be for real. Be grown or grab your, your coochie lips. You know? And come to me fish to fish. Chest plate to chest plate. I And that's all I got for today's video. I appreciate y'all so much. Love y'all a hundred times. Kisses on both cheeks. Bye!